making a few adjustments. Uh, you know, fiddling with the settings as you do, as you as you uh, you cable yourself down to the main power supply, and you draw off the the juice, and you you become energized, <laughs> and then you. Yeah, I don't know, you try to put a transformer in the circuit so that you don't get overloaded with it, but it's not always not always possible. So we can ask, you know, we ask questions on the stream. We ask questions, you know, why? Why? Why was she picking flowers with a spoon? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? This makes no sense. And, you know, should we feel sorry for the radiator man? Should we feel sorry for the radiator man? I feel sorry for the radiator man. Do you feel sorry for the radiator man? I feel sorry for the radiator Why? Why should we feel sorry for the radiator man? And who came up with this song that's been going around? Who feels sorry for the radiator? Have you heard this? I oh, drive me mad. Drive me absolutely mad. You know, and on the back of that, why, as an adjunct to that inquiry, why should she pick flowers with a spoon you pick flowers with a spoon you know the implication is you're going to devour the whole of the ecology you know you're going to devour nature not you're not going to nurture it you're going to you're going to destroy it so you know why would she pick flowers with a spoon it only implies that she's a voracious economy bent on the destruction of all that is before us who feels sorry for the radiator man I feel sorry for the radiator man. Do you feel sorry for the radiator? Anyway, it's all part of the rich tapestry. So we've got the we've got the orange and the green. We've got the Chris blue faced Chris, the blue man group. He's decided I'm fed up with this. Uh, it's, it's taking too long. I thought I was going to be king of the universe by now. I'm going to do some Sandy. I'm off to join the blue man group in Berlin. Bye. Chris is having one of his funny turns again. But look, the worm spanners are spinning, and it's looking very nice this morning. So here we are. This is Star Citizen 3.1. You might be wondering what's going on. Pfft, I don't ask. I'm the last to know. I, you know, I'm in down the chain of meaning. I'm at the end uh, with my empty bowl. Going. Uh, is there any? Was there any meaning left? You've eaten. You've eaten all the meaning. Oh. Oh. There we are, staring at the. My own reflection, upside down. For it is a silver bowl that reflects my own face, inverted. The bowl of meaning reflects only you, but upside down. So, why eat flowers with a spoon? What? <laughs> Do you feel sorry for the radiator man? We don't know. Uh, let's get on with it. So I'm just going to jump in the verse now. We're just kind of looking for the thing. There's the hobbity music see if we can find ourselves a little location in the verse now today I'd like to I mean I know it's maybe a bit of a grind it's maybe a bit of a bore but then I'm only trying to sort of I'm trying to pick flowers with a spoon because I I feel that the drug lab is calling me I feel I want to go there it depends on the time of day of course uh, this time of day might be expedient to uh, venture into the what is known as part life, uh, but it might not be. So remember, we didn't choose the drug life. So we are waiting just for the loading screens. Do you feel sorry for the radiator man? Do I feel sorry? For why should we feel sorry for the radiator man? Because the radiator man, he gives you, he puts heat in your house. My heating's not working at the moment, actually. Oh, we're in, we're in, we're in. We're in, we're in. So let's just go there now. I welcome you to Star Citizen 3.1.2. Here we are, getting up into the verse. We've got 30 frames, so it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, 
we look around as usual there's you know discarded potpourri magazine which hull is right for you well the hull of my own making I would imagine uh, there's a big Benny's I like to chew down on that there we go and a, a lovely picture of a of a I don't know what that is looks like a, a hurricane maybe okay let's uh, let's think now we're in pod number seven I'm in pod seven that's what I just am I'm in pod six I'm wrong by one getting better Ooh, I like your shades you look very nice mm, did you shave that yourself let's go out here no let's go this away get down to the lifts uh, as the frame rates jitter and jerk like this guy please welcome to the stage jitter and jerk Hello, I'm J -J -J Jitter. I'm Jack. And let's go call the lift. I can't tell if that's the music or someone knocking on my door. I think it's somebody knocking on my door. Oh, hello, here's a man. Oh, you look all right. You look quite good like that. You haven't got the curtains going on. You've got the, the headscarf and the rest of the armour's all dusted up. Yeah, you're looking all right there, mate. You look pretty tasty. Ready for action. Well, he must have found a way to make money because I'm still dorking around in my frog suit. Like, Kermit, this is the stair where I always sit. It's about 500 credits. Yes, hello. I'd like to get into here. I'll try again. I'll try a different console this time. This time we'll try the console that looks like this. Yeah, I'm doing it, man. You don't need to graphically instruct me. I'm, I know what to do. Press the button. Press it repeatedly. I'm pressing F and I'm clicking the mouse where it says use. Let's try somewhere else on the screen. Yeah, that's a crash. Okay, so we got an immediate crash. That's all fun, fun, fun. That my clock is stopped at 12.15. Let me just sort that out, actually. This is going to happen. This is an early access game. We're not going to get too perturbed about it. Um, we're just going to come in here. We're going to reset here. We're going to stop. And we're going to start again with that little timer, just so we know where we are. Right, connection to server is lost unexpectedly. If the problem persists, please change the... Let's just do that. Age and best. That was the best I could muster. That was the best I could muster. Do you feel sorry for the radiator man? Because I feel sorry for the radiator man. It's, it's very hard when you're, when you're verbally challenged. As, as I am in the sense that well do you fear the vacuum <laughs> my hoover sucks it absolutely sucks but yeah I think you know obviously when you're faced with such a thing all you can do is laugh you have to laugh or else you cry pity the radiator man or else you die na -na -na -na. Na -na -na -na. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you, Piranhas, you wonderful, wonderful men. The old thing's daft. I don't know why. You have to laugh or else you cry. You have to live or else you die. You have to pity the radiator man before you cry. Right, so here we are. Pity the radiator man, because he's left his case here and his toilet roll. He's going to be needing that when the radiators start to frighten him. And then I just, I'm a slob. That's all I can say. I'm a slob. And it, it, it has that effect on you, this environment. I mean, you come in here and you feel like, well, what's the point of tidying up? You know what I mean? The whole place is going to fall apart any minute or somebody might shoot me in the back of the head. Uh, pod number the, the Yes, I was correct great so that's the first time I've ever been correct well, you simply don't say a number then the problem is solved you just go hey, pod number 
And then, oh yeah, no, that's what I meant, yeah. So that's how we do it from now on. We just, we won't even try. We just, we just, there's Grim X, what the hell. We just walk into the neon sign, uh, uh, and we just, just walk around like this. Uh, 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 I just walk around on here like an idiot. Uh, 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 uh. Go through here. Uh, it's Grim Hex, I don't care. Oy, 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 oy. I'm glad I actually didn't jump over there because that, that could have been fatal, right? So let's stop it now. We'll leave the Grim Hex behind. We have no longer a crime stat because we took an absolute age at the hairdresser's getting it removed. So I had to have a whole rinse and blow dry three times in a row. And now we look like we might be... Ooh. Have you got one on, one off? How have you done that, mate? I like, I like your style, but I didn't know it was possible to do one arm and not the other. Are you aware of it? In your dust-up suit. I've got to get me some armour, man. Look at me. I look like a goon. Look at this. It's absolutely terrible. Anyway, never mind. Alright, let's see what we can do here. He stood there. That's, that doesn't bode well for the console experience, does it? Oh no, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. I'm going to claim this here just for now. I'm not going to take it now. Why have I only got 1,200 credits? It's an absolute disaster. So anyway, my group, me, Cutlass is here. The black cutlery, ladies and germs. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pod. I've got to do something about it. The, the, the money's just slipping through my hands here. Have I got have I got cargo in in the cutlass already? Must be AO1. I didn't even notice. Here's Mr. BS. How's it going, mate? Still stuck here? Yeah, you are. Okay. One day I'm gonna leave this place. My mummy says I'm nearly ready. Um, come on. Cycle, cycle. Cycling today, Mark. <laughs> right. In a minute, I'm going to have to go and do 20 pull-ups. Oh, come on now. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I might have to do it now. We'll, we'll wait till... What I'll do is we'll wait till we're doing the... We'll wait till we're doing the... Um, uh, we're doing the Macarena. All right, okay, yeah. Oh, the black cutlass. Here we go. Here we go. Now this ship is called the cutlass, right? You turn it on, and it slices through the verse. A piratical blade. The are now the implication with the ship is that you're some sort of pirate, sort of vagabond. Uh, so I parked it in the right place. You know what I mean? It's like parking a Ford Cortina by a council estate. Right. Landing complete. Launch complete. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get those legs up. Become scum once more. You, everybody can go fast if they want. I mean, it's not like boy races. Right, off we go. There's the rear view. There's a, like a cluster of kidney stones that they call Grim Hex. Been good to us over the years. As it echoes like. Right, we're on 30, 29 frames. Uh, so let's let's think about what we want to do here. Um, just kill the speed a little bit. Give you a look at the cutlass. This is the cutlass as, as she is. About the size of it. Give you the give you the bright side. No, let's give you the planet side view there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to head to that planet over there. We're parked in the rings at the moment, but we're going to head to that planet surface and see if we can find the drug lab. I say see if we're going to find the drug lab. It, we can find it as long as it's daylight. So that's that's the deal basically. There's old yellow. Somebody's attacking me, so that's...
okay I'm not quite sure what happened there that might have been a very very big torpedo okay well that's quite annoying right well trading drugs definitely does pay not if a reward is on your head and a good looking guy like me behind you uh, Kenzai 76 mm, that's interesting Kenzai wonder if that was you that just shot me mm, you're a big you're a big hard character aren't you Kenzai was that you right let's see I don't have a crime stat that performed was that you that performed that cowardly attack. Uh, Kenzai, was that you? Geron Geronimo Beyond. Oh, I'm Beyond Geronimo. I'm the Meta Geronimo. No, I'm a legal bounty hunter. No, you're a raving ass. Who just offed my cutlery? Oh, what is raving? <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I tire of it, the mindlessness of it. I mean, who would have, how annoying is it when someone just randomly kills you? I mean, it's just not fair, is it? It's just annoying. This is karma now, people, isn't it? This is the karma of a man who's tried to clean up his act, but has left behind. Who just off my cutlery? Lol. Uh, what's funny, boy? Well, it wasn't me, but your whining is annoying anyway. Uh, yes. My whining is annoying but it was specially crafted to be so. Don't call me boy, cunt. Only your mum has the right. Boy. <laughs> Kensai is a boy. He's boyish and coy and just a boy. <laughs> uh, boy. Hey, boy. <laughs> hey, boy. Can't I? You are a boy. A boy, indeed. You are a boy. A boy. A boy. I could do this all day. Do you know what I mean, mate? Yes. His mummy's toy boy. Are you insane? Can't say. Toy boy. 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 Can't say. Is a boy. 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 Can't say. Have I crashed the game? I have. I've crashed the game. Okay, fine. Don't tell me that. All right? Don't call me the C word. It's unnecessary. It really is. 
Aussie Kentai 97. I'm going to write him down. I'm going to put him on my list. Because I, I don't mind being randomly killed, but I will not be called a C-word live on air. Uh, 97, was it? Kentai 97, maybe? 96? Who knows? You should know better. Anyway, he's just a boy. Kensai is just a boy, is just a boy, and he feels sorry for the radiator man. Do you feel sorry for the radiator man? Kensai is a boy who feels sorry for the radiator man. So, Kensai is the sort of boy who picks flowers with a spoon. He is. <laughs> now we've discovered the meaning of it, we can just say that Kensai is a boy who picks flowers with a spoon. Because his mummy won't let him eat the cookies. Good boy. What have we learned from this experience? What have we learned? Uh, that you must never give up when someone affronts you. You must never, ever relent. Eventually, they will give in. The trick is knowing how to keep going. <laughs> and then you will feel sorry for the radiator man. For you will be the radiator man, pointlessly filling vessels made of metal, strapping them to the wall in the hope that you can keep back the tide of ever advancing nature. The cold creeps. But you can't stop it with a radiator. Feel sorry for the radiator man. Do you feel sorry for the radiator man? Pointlessly trying to halt the advancement of nature. So yeah, we now got 52 frames. Let's see if uh, Kensai is in the chat. I can't even get the chat. It's funny that when you get high frame rates, you can't get chat. You can't have it all, can you? <laughs> Where would you keep it? Pod number seven. And pod number 12. So we're wrong by five. So it's all getting a little bit fruity. Whee! <clears throat> yes. I like leaping out of bed in the morning, especially when I have to kill Kensai, the boy. Kensai, the man who's just a boy. Let's get there as soon as we can. Ooh. Yes, good. Kensai's just a boy. Oh, Kensai, you're just a boy. Kensai, boy. Oh, boy, boy, Kensai. Kensai's a boy. He likes to use rude words because it makes him feel tall. Even though he's got a tiny little winky. Kensai has got a boy's little pizzle upon his nizzle. Don't mess with his mizzle or I'll make you disabizzle. Look, just Kensai, you're a boy. You're just a boy, all right? If I see you, I'm going to man you up. Oh, I feel like I'm... There's no reason to um, there's no reason for bad language in the stream. Let's see if we can find him. Can I? Let's get in here. Now oh, the terrapin. Oh, he's actually ready now. So that's interesting. Anyway, we won't worry about that. It's destroyed because some absolute gem destroyed it. I never found out who it was. Uh, filed a claim on that one. Right, as we're, where were we before Kensai so rudely interrupted us? 14 minutes away. What we'll do is we'll take the freelancer. Yep. So we have. Delivered to the following landing pub. Good! I want it to be delivered, and I asked you to deliver it, and then you did it. Because I'm the king of the castle. I'm the king of the universe. Meh, I'm Chris Roberts. Right, so I'm going to come down here like a boss and walk down and F7C the lot of you. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Right then, what can we say? You know, I've obviously touched a nerve there. Like the tooth is exposed and the nerve is dangling. 
Oh look, this is one of those, it's one of those uh, special moments where the door of your freelancer makes everything disappear. I've had this before with the freelancer. The back door makes holes in space-time. Look at that. Look, there's a door. There's not a door. There's a door. There's not a door. It's one of those like the fridge light. When you look at it, it disappears. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Anyway, a bit like Ken size Valor. When you look at it, it's not there. Right, okay. Kensai. Boy. I'll find you. I'll find you. Now oh, the door delay. Good evening, Mr. Downer. We just thought we'd make you wait. Why are you making me wait, Jeeves? Let me in immediately. Right. Really getting the red mist. I feel what the F7. Okay, a little bit of a problem here with. Yeah, all right, that's not too bad. All right, yes, okay, one second. I've got to reconfigure something. Uh, I've got a problem with Spotify. Oh, it's all going off this morning, what with being insulted, being called the C-word. And now, got ourselves into a right pickle with a man called Kenzai who refuses to admit that he's a little child. Right, okay, let's get off the deck. Launch sequence yeah. Complete. Why is it that the freelancer takes off like a, like an electrocuted salmon? I would like you to stop saying that to me now, because I'm really sick of it. All right, well now we've got to do this caper. I must say, I'm getting a bit tired of Grim Hex and all the twatting Thank around. You. And please visit again. I mean, if you're going to have a uh, like a really obscured base that's covered by rocks and stones and obstacles and cables everywhere then make the ships take off in a controlled way, you know? I mean, it's obvious, right? But look at this beauty now, look at this. It, every time I look at it, it gets more and more shabby, look at it. It's like, I mean, I get it, you got to have some wear and tear, but to me, it's just, it looks like it's, it's like 50 years old. Look at it. And look, let me show you this, like the, the actual um, dash over here, look. Ah, it's foul. It's like rotting away. Somebody should have cleaned up. Whose ship is this anyway? <laughs> well, it's difficult when you own a few ships. I mean, you've got to spend a lot of time in the berth just scrubbing. You know what I mean? Anyway, off we go. There's the rear view. Goodbye, kidney stones. Right, now let's try that again, shall we? We've only got to get to... We've only got to get... Hello. We've only got to get to... Yella itself. Right, I'm getting really bad frames now. Frame drops. 13 to 33. It's not good, is it? Oh, not again. Somebody's obviously pad camping. Get killed. I'd like it if the cowardly shite who keeps blowing me up would stop doing it now because I don't appreciate it. I'd 
like to sort of discover who it is. Why don't risk connect on last serve because the serve is down. Someone can buy me a GTX. Yeah, well, exactly. Okay. So who just torpedoed me at Grimhex? Maybe it's a pirate thing. I mean, maybe because I'm not a pirate, I get torpedoed when I'm leaving Grim Hex now. Maybe that's the deal. Is that the deal now? Is this an automatic? Who was it? Who? Who? That's me. Did you do that, you total plum duff? Oh! special in the brain what do you mean that's the second time you total Tell you what, it's very, very salty in the verse this morning, isn't it? Don't know what to do. We can only suggest. <laughs> that. That was very, very funny. Right, anyway, let's deal with him. Lord Broke is now going on. I'm putting him on the list as well. Let's put him on the list. Yeah? How do you spell it? Uh, let's see. Uh. Lord Boat. Boring bloke. Okay, let's go and land with a sklump. Right, I'm annoyed now. I'm in a bad mood now because this stupid... It is only karma after all. Hello? Excuse me? Okay, now I have the power of levitation. Alright, well I think I'll just go for a walk, shall I? Alright, okay. Shall be good. <laughs> Alright, walk like a boss. Try and calm it down. I'm just getting all worked up over nothing. You know what I mean? They're just tiny little pizzles trying to mess with your mizzle. Alright, they're just tiny little men with little little prawns. Alright, crash, 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 crash. Oh, it's tough to get into the verse today. Isn't it? It's tough. Right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna reconnect. Uh yeah, there we go. Reconnection times. 
Checkout time is 10 a.m. and I know just what he means. Right, we'll jump in. Meanwhile, I've got to go and do something. Yeah, I'm just going to get my gun. Okay, fine. Lord Broke, you're a very boring bloke. Up we hop, back into the 20 pull-ups later and we're just feeling slightly calmer. Right. There might be the coat hanger and there is no rail for safety. And so we will proceed gently, although breathing slightly heavily, into the verse. And we're not even going to guess the pod, because we're beyond such materialistic trivialities. In the economy of pod life, we are merely meta-financial. There is such a thing. Well, oh, I've not seen that view before. Very, very good location, this, isn't it? Look at it. Though it is filled with total plums. Right, we'll give it a go. Let's see who's in. So, Lord Broke is in. That's good news. Let's see if we can find. should be pad camping somewhere outside thing so if I could get if I could get somewhere how can I do this wondering if there's another way out of here to figure this out. I'm 
kind of assuming he's in a retaliator, but I thought the retaliator was too big to 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 land on the on the pads here. See now. Uh, floating like a goon. Slowly running out of oxygen. So, you know, my plan was to see if I can scope him out a little bit, find, find out where he's lurking. He's obviously sat somewhere, maybe somewhere over there very difficult to get out of the pad without, without getting ganked basically. Let's just take ourselves back down again. Well, well what we'll do, what we'll do is we'll sneak out, sneak back in rather. like a total plump. I don't know if anybody ever uses this door. But it is kind of I don't mind it myself. I think it's quite quite a handy little getaway. Again we got bad frames but hey that's that's never the never stopped us before has it? Right, let's get this shift on. Now should we take? We're going to try and avoid. Well, we actually, I know what we'll take. We'll take, I think by now, the black cutlery should be ready to be taken out of the out of the kitchen drawer, and we'll just take them. Yes, the following what? Okay, I owe one. I expect nothing less. That's probably him there, isn't it? He runs like a lord. Like a lord. <laughs> He's a bit of a lord. Go on then, lord. Let's see where he's going. Let's follow him. I can get onto his ship if it is him. I've got a little bit of blood splattering on my on my visor. It kind of worries me slightly. Oh, it's broken. It's a shame, isn't it? Right, let's see what is going on here. Definitely improve the lighting. What's that? What's that? What's that? Well, that's him. He's going up to the cutlass to try and get in my cutlass. Naughty little boy. Alright, well, two can play that game, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to do now. I've got, I want to formulate a plan to absolutely, completely, and utterly uh, cause some tears, but I, I don't know how to, how to do it, really, with the meagre. Uh, equipment and skill set that I have. Oh, somebody just gone up in smoke. Who is that? He is lurking, isn't he? He's lurking, trying out his uh, torpedoes. Ah, Lord 
broke speaks French, that's very nice. Now is my cutlass still damaged? That's what I wanted to know. Now please don't hurt my legs, please don't hurt my legs on the way down. There we go. A bit of blood splattering on the visor, never hurt anyone did it? There's something that needs fixing about the landing thing. Like whenever you land on the ground now, it feels like you're picking flowers with a spoon. Oh, I feel sorry for the radiator man. The radiator man. I feel sorry for the radiator man. Bye, Grim Hex. You've been an absolute pain in the backside. Right, I suppose this is where I get shonked again. I know he's waiting for me. Sorry, you exceeded the allotted time to depart. We will have to return your ship to storage. <sighs> I must say I'm getting a bit tired of this game. The frame rate's down to two. Uh, how does that work? Now my interconnection. Is, oh. Come aboard your Drake interplanetary craft. Your systems are online. Launch complete. Initiating ship storage procedure. Your services is beginning to the following landing and thank you for your cooperation. Okay, well, basically I managed to scoot out there. I know the internet internet connection's not really internet connection's not really working, so. So it, it seems like today, my friends, it's impossible to leave Grimhex. That is the thing that I'm experiencing. I'm stuck at Grimmers with, with the feeling of complete loss. Now, if that's going to be stored now, that would be all right. It's on pad A1, but it isn't, though, is it? Or is it? Is it? No, it's not on pad A1. God, imagine if this was an actual way that they ran an airport. Imagine that, what the kind of irritation that would cause. Your plane is ready to depart. Oh, but it's not there. Oh, sorry. Okay, get on the plane. Now we've stored the plane and put you back in the airport. Do you want to get back on the plane? Well, it's there. It's telling you it's there. Oh, it's not there. Sorry. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pub. All right. I suppose I better run like an eager little bunny then, at Chris Roberts' behest. Oh, I'm Chris Roberts, and I make all the f everybody run around like ants, and I look down on them on my bed, they're like ants under my bed, and I look at them, and they're me and Erin, we just laugh. Ha, 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 look at you all running around. Ha, ha. I make it really difficult for you to enjoy the game <laughs> because I make it all cinematic and everything's got to be like a movie that I'm too scared to direct. And so I am turned it into a game because it's easier. Only I just feel every day that I'm at a loss because I don't really, I'm not really become the film director that I always wanted to become. And, and then I drop the frames down to four frames a second just to annoy you. Chris. You're a worm-like creature of ill repute. And now the game is going to crash again. No, it's not. Right, let's let's try and get in. Come on, let's get out of this place and just stop trying to be clever. Lord Broke can wait. Let's just get out of here. All right? Just get off the deck and before we even take off, we shall get ourselves lined up for the jump and we shall just jump right because to hang around hello and welcome aboard your drake interplanetary craft all right fine thank your you systems are online. i'm sure they are now let's just see who's in the immediate area right there's an avenger titan maybe it, i mean that was a torpedo right i mean it was it felt like it was a torpedo it was hefty made a humming noise it wasn't triangular on the radar. It was like a little red cross that was tracking in on me. So I'm mean, assuming it was a torpedo. 
I'm uh, torpedoing it as an assumption. Right, let's see. Don't torpedo my assumption, or I'll assume that it's a torpedo. Right, okay, let's do, 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 think, think, think. If we set the destination now, let's just check who else is here. There's a cutlass. There's a reliant of all things. It's the alpha. Titan. Yeah, okay. It's Amiga. Let's try not to go the same way that we went before. Let's go this way. Thank you. Please visit again. So the cutlass is taking a beating. Let's go. Let's go, let's get out of here. I don't want to have any messing around with Lord Penis and his tiny little missiles. Who's around? Avenger Titan. Anyone else? No one else. Okay, fine. Let's try to get to OM4. Honestly, making money in this game is becoming almost impossible. People are walking around in nice, fancy outfits. Oh, like, I don't get it. Where's the money coming from? Oh, it's dark. I can't, I can't find it in the dark. What's the deal then, eh? What's the deal? <sighs> Is there anything worth selling and buying? Look, help me out, people. Is there anybody out there? Does anybody here remember me? Right, ah. Uh, yeah, crash. Okay, crash. Is it a crash? No, it's not a crash. Okay. It's just my problem with uh, Spotify. So look, I'm going to lose internet connection again in a minute then. That's that's what's happening. My inter internet connection to Twitch anyway is not, not that great at the moment. It's become a bit of a problem. So... I'm not quite sure what to do about that. There's not a lot I can do about it at the moment. It's turning into a very, very difficult stream indeed. What I'll try and do is try and fix the musical scenario here. Don't quite know what's wrong this morning. There's something up maybe with my internet connection is possible. That could be something that's gone slightly awry this morning, I don't know. Okay, so it might be getting a little bit lighter now, so maybe we can... Yeah, we could go for it. I'm not sure if I can see the blobs. I can't really see what I'm doing yet. No, I'm not going to risk it in the dark, so there's no point. Be good if they made a ship with great big floodlights on it. That would be good actually, like if that was an option, like as a, a gizmo that you could attach to your ship, like big, big monster floodlights. That would, that would be really cool. So that you can sort of light up. Or a flare dispenser, a little bit like they've got in Deep Rock Galactic, you know, those flares that the miners throw. They're amazing, they just suddenly daylight floods in and you feel like a king right speaking of daylight just give me a second
contrast has all gone to hell, but just needed to sort of bit a little bit of sunlight in my life. I'm gonna I'm gonna can all this in a minute and just go for a run because I, I I feel like I feel like sat here in a chair being insulted by total worms is not my idea of a good time. Let's see now. That's going to be just purely dark. All right, let's go. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Let's go to... Let's go somewhere. Let's go to Denmark. Quick hop to Denmark. Where it's always sun. The sun always shines on TV. Yeah? And TV, in this case, is a planet called Denmark. It's not a planet. It's a moon. Yes, I know. Shut up. You feel sorry for the radiator man. Do you feel sorry for the radiator man? Do you feel sorry for the radiator man because his wife she picks flowers with a spoon, she picks flowers with a spoon, she's married to the radiator man. Let's go over here to the wife of the radiator man. Let's go to Bountiful Harvest and buy some flowers. We are, after all, in the black cutlery, and if we imagine that the cutlery in question is a spoon, then why not just go to where they sell flowers all day long? The wonderful world of bountiful harvest hydroponics. Let's just go there. Let's see what we can find. Oh, put the little body of the man on the head. Oh, my mini game. Let's go. Do a little bit of moon landing. That's that's always nice. Calm you down deal with your temper. Is somebody inside Kobolex? Safe travels? Yeah, right. Not with Lord Broke around. I might just have to insult him one more time, actually. Maybe I won't. There's no point to harbour malice. It's better just to shoot. Contact. That's something that I really wish they had in the game, a sort of tracking system, you know? I'd love to be able to track people. People who wrong you, people who irk you, people who rub you up the wrong, the wrong way. That you can issue a tracking request. You can get a kind of reasonable peek into the location. Yeah, okay, the internet connection was lost. Try again. Try again in one second. Reconnecting. 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 I don't know why Twitch is doing this to me this morning. It just keeps disconnecting and reconnecting again. So apologies for that. If anybody's watching, I don't think anybody's watching. So it's totally fine, isn't it? Doesn't matter. 170 people are watching that total plum twerk 17 mouthing off about how great he is but nobody's watching my stream and I'm a reasonable you know calm level-headed individual <laughs> anyway that's how it goes that's my impression of twerk 17 yeah 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 you go to Waffle House, you get a bacon topping. If you go to the Big Mac store, you get get a double cheeseburger. Oh, you do the, do you do the vanilla Coke or do you the real Coke? Oh, I use the vanilla Coke. Bang, you're dead. What car do you drive? What shirt do you wear? What shoes do you have? Everything about you says something about you. No, wrong to work, 17. It doesn't mean anything just means you've got more money than somebody else, which is a matter of luck, all right? 
get a grip on yourself. Child. You and Lord Broke can go. Go suck a tailpipe, man. Anyway, look, I don't mean to badmouth streamers. Um, but I always do it anyway. <laughs> don't mess with me. Right, okay, so 58.5 to go. And we're coming in very nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have a shirt made of entirely of bacon. Yeah, yeah. I got it in a special store. Yeah, do you know what a special store is? No, I go there. I drove there in my new car. What car have you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a complete, uh, complete joke, really. But, you know, I won't have a word said against him. He's a really nice guy. Right, I'm going too slowly. That, I, I, I hear you cry. I hear your pain. I feel your nuggets. Even if you don't want me to. I'm a doctor. You can trust me. I am, actually. But there we are. Someone at Grim Hex is able to give me a lift to my ship. It's outside. Yeah, alright. I died in it. Clipped through the wall. I'm going to crash. I'm going to crash like a mashed up piece of hash. Right, okay. Look at that burn on that, Chris. You've done us proud with the cinematics. Unfortunately, there's no dick filter on the game. If there was, then you wouldn't be the director. Right, let's... Contact, who's that? Can't tell how fast I'm going. Can't tell what's happening. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down, man. There we go. All right. Yeah, we're okay. That's fine. That's all good. It's all smooth. All nice. All nice. You can pick flowers with a spoon around here. No one's going to say anything. Do you know what I mean? with a spoon. Right. No need to feel sorry for the radiator, man. He's nice and warm. 55 minutes in, what we've only done, we haven't done a thing except bitch. You know what I mean? Uh, what, what am I? Everything's always alright, so just shut up now. Do you feel sorry for the radiator, man? Don't feel sorry for the radiator, man. Because his wife picks flowers with a spoon and soon you'll be on the moon they call Dama with Hama Superstar having a power lunch with Hama Superstar the greatest greatest tracks ever made made in his bedroom with drive and dedication Ultimate respect for the man they call Harmar. Ultimate respect. Give me Harmar over Chris any day. Oh, no, hello. You want your legs out, do you? Legs out, legs in, what are you doing? Priest come? Thank you. Right, here we are, hovering ever so delicately. Like a fat vulture. Harvest. I don't even know why we came here. There was no point, really. One question I did have, which I must investigate further, is um, the issue of oxygen in a cyclone. Is there oxygen in a cyclone? Can you pick flowers with a spoon? Do you feel sorry for the radiator man? These and other questions will be answered in this week's episode of Downer Gets Pissed. Alright, let's let's go. Let's go down. Is it swearing to say that in American? Like if American is if you say oh I'm the P word. Is that a is that a swearing thing? Is that considered like disrespectful to a vicar? Or a man of the cloth? Would you would you be able to say that to a man of the cloth? 
hey, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pissed at you, because you haven't given me communion. Who knows? Who, who cares? More to the point. And why do the frame rates drop? And why does the sun shine on the back ramp when the door's shut? And why is there a hole in my ship? Why, it's funny, isn't it? Like, the sunlight is hitting everything to do with the back ramp, like there, the mechanism there, everything that's a, you know, part of that object, that group of uh, items, 3D items. Uh, the sunlight is hitting that, and yet it's not in the sunlight yet. Stuff like that, can't they just fix it? Talk about breaking immersion. Like they break immersion every three seconds in this game. Right, let's run around here. In fact, let's feel sorry for the radiator man and shut the door. Because that's that's how I show my concern. Plumber called Dave. Right, let's go through here. Don't take my box, please. Oh, I can't listen to the chat anymore. It's just a babbling of moronic fools. Okay, here we are. In the bowl. Like a sitting mallard. Dear, oh dear. I, I, I don't know what's happened to me this morning. I was in a fine fettle when I got onto the stream. Three crashes later, and uh, two verbal attacks and two torpedo explosions. I am none the wiser as to what, what goes down in the verse. You never know, you see. It's very boring to watch this stream. There's nothing happens. It's just me making a series of false starts. I'm going to run over there now. Oh, no, I'm not. Do you know? It must be hell. It's hell to watch. Why do you watch it? There's just no point! You could be feeling sorry for the radiator man. Right, get, get me in here, please. I want to buy something that I can't sell for a profit. Right. I could take some stims to Grimm's. No, I could take some to Ollie. No, stims to Grimm's might be a good move. Distilled spirits. Maybe that would be better. Let's take some stims, let's just take a few. Just so we don't completely waste our 551, that's a good number. Yeah, they're 3.17 here, got it. And yes, I've got it, okay? 3.17, all right, that's, that's all I'm gonna tell you. Is it this way? Yes. No, God, you're an idiot. I don't even know which way you came in. Three point one seven, right? That's the deal. Three point one seven. I stake my considerable, considerable, bu -bu -bu <laughs> considerable barnet on it. Come on then, run, run like the weasel that you are, and follow the rabbit down his hole. Right, okay. Pity the woodworm, for he munches only upon the detritus of your furniture. Running against my own shadow, I realised that the blackness that was cast from my own lighted self was merely the heated up flesh upon the barbecue of life. I realised that the shadow was the true self as I ran towards the shadow of the other object that housed me. I became aware that every object has a shadow and the shadow is more true than the object. For the object is only rendered there by the light that bounces upon every surface. Like capital itself, it is the thing that gives meaning to us all. And in this capitalist realism, it must be lit. The economy of exchange, in order to feel the shadow gripping us more tightly. We have become shadows of ourselves 
in an economy of misery. And so we will look at King Smith as request his transportation Hello, to Shubin. Mining facility, card. distance. Your nye, nye, nye. Yeah, thank you. Put them online then. Engines online. Launch complete. All right. Our oh, people are being nice in the verse here. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm malicious. Sorry if you do. Do you need help? Yeah, short ride. Uh, okay, well, that's nice. So people are offering each other lifts. That's very good. Um, Kudra Or. I might just go there. No, I might just go there. Huh? 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 Why not? Why not? Why not? into the planet at this point. Pull up the nose. Excuse me. Just a frame drop every every time. I don't understand it man. Every time I do anything there's a frame drop. It's my system. I, d I don't see how it can be really. My system is the best system of all. See where it is now. There we go. All right, so we're going the right way. Pick up a little bit of speed. Get the nose up. Now, if we stay on beam here, we should be all right. I reckon we'll get there in no time. Just for jolly, do you know what I mean? Just to see what there is. So we traverse this wonderful world that Chris has made for us. You know, it, it's amazing, really. It, what, what happens is he tears up old copies of Hello! magazine. He chews them up. Tears them into strips. Chews them up a little bit, just to wet them. And he hands the chewed up pulp to Sandy who continues to chew them like a wasp. She sits on a little perch in his bedroom like a wasp and um, I don't think wasps actually perch but she perches like a wasp because she's able to do that because she's very flexible and uh, she chews it up and she spits it out uh, into the hands of Eric Kyron Davis who runs his fingers through his hair like that. Quite a lot of hair gel he uses and he takes that pulp and mixes it with his hair gel and then he spreads it out all over his chest like that and she comes down she hovers down like that and squats over him and she sculpts it just put oh it tickles oh oh it tickles tickle and every now and again she does that with his hair which is why it's such a funny shape and she sculpts it into this landscape that you can see before you and that's how it's done they work as a team chris chewing and tearing um, Sandy pulping like crazy with her back to you. <laughs> oh Chris, it tastes so good. What copy is this? And then the copy with the with Jay Z in it. <laughs> and then uh, they chew up, you know, copies of other celebrities. Uh, I say other celebrities. I mean celebrities. The, the other people in the magazines. They chew it up and they, they, you know, it becomes this brown colour mixed in with a with a crash. That can suddenly happen when you when you spent all your money on drugs and stims, and then suddenly the, the game crashes and you get absolutely nowhere. I mean, this is how it's work. This is how it works, and the crash is caused by by an instability in Sandy's perch. Basically, if it's only an old broom handle with a, a you know a toilet roll on the top like that, she perches very precarious, and sometimes it wobbles, and if she should slip. Um, and hurt herself, then the chewing process can't continue, and they have to they have to pull the plug. They just unplug the the main server, and it just it causes a crash. And the the, the spinning blue wheel is um, caused by uh, Eric Kyron Davis. Just it's, he just spins round like that and turns blue because he gets so upset. Oh, it's crashed again! Ooh! Which is why his hair is in a 
kind of corkscrew spiral like that. He gets very, very upset when there's a crash to Zarek and he has to go to his yacht and lie down. So, there we have it, you know, crashed again, what can we say? We're, here we are in the, in the verse, frozen. Um, frozen like an icy kestrel above the wastes of Sandy Gardener's pulp chewing activities. Uh, it remains to be said that uh, this only goes to show that you cannot pick flowers with a spoon. It's just in cable. You, by which I mean you cannot render a cinematic experience in a computer. You need to actually shoot a movie with actual cameras. So, sorry about that, Chris. But it seems to me that you're trying to pick flowers with a spoon, mate. And as someone who is trying to construct a system of heated reality against the advancement of actual reality, i.e. nature, then you are the radiator man himself, and I feel sorry for you. So who feels sorry for the radiator man? I do. And who is his wife who's trying to pick flowers with a spoon? Well, it's Sandy Gardner, who's actually trying to chew up copies of Hello! magazine to make a planet. So with having said that, I would bid you all a very, very good afternoon, and I will see you next time in the verse. And why'd they call it the verse? Because it just can't get any worse.